Happy summer and greetings from Fire Island in the community of Kismet. This is the Great South Bay View. And if you were to walk down this walkway, it would bring you directly to the Atlantic Ocean. Here is a walk of downtown Kismet with a map that'll show us just how quaint this community is. One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks wide, one, two blocks deep. Kismet, Fire Island, New York. Uh, all of the communities on Fire Island are rather small and they all have their own distinct personality. And I do love a welcome sign. Here is welcome to Kismet. Bicycles on the boardwalk. Boats in the harbor. Kismet. Now, when you are on Fire Island, um, getting essentials is not always the easiest thing. Here is Kismet Market. Most people try to bring everything that they would like to have with them in big carts with wheels when they arrive. As there, are, hello, as there are no shops, big box stores, um, but there are individual restaurants. Having a great Saturday, Friday as well as you can see it is a rather friendly community with lots of bicycles and let's take a look at the map for just position fire island national seashore and we arrived earlier today at the fire island lighthouse and walked over to the first community of kismet which would be across from the long island community of bayshore kismet meaning of meaning fate or destiny, was home to Fire Island's first hotel, the Domini House, in 1844. And there is, that's actually one of the signature things to visit, although one of my favorite things to do is to come early in the season for the tag sale, uh, where residents put their belongings out on the sidewalk. Say, for example, they had a talking fish clock and found a mermaid clock over the winter, they may put their talking fish clock out on the sidewalk to open up the season. So you find really quaint things because people bring their most interesting items with them to their beach house. This is Kismet, town of Islip. And this is how one would get here if coming from a ferry. Here is your ferry entrance and this ferry is from Bayshore. And you could get here from Midtown Manhattan, the Empire State Building on the Long Island Railroad, they sell package deals where a, um, a van will meet up with you and bring you directly to the ferry. And as well, this is uh, where you'd catch your water taxis if you wanted to go over to some of the neighboring communities. Speaking of neighboring communities, we are right next to the Fire Island lighthouse and you can clearly see it from here and that is accessible um, by vehicle from Robert Moses Beach park in field five walk over to the lighthouse and then you walk along the bay which is what I did here today uh, to the first and most westerly community of Kismet Red Wagon Imperium I love shops like this because it's really hard to find Fire Island clothing and during the summer season, you can find your Fire Island clothing here. Now I do have my Fire Island shirt on, uh, but these shops sometimes will be here for one year and not the next. Now how much is a water taxi to other communities? If you wanted to go over to Watch Hill, looks like $30. Uh, salt air, actually it's kind of nice because you can see all of the community names here. Fire Island Lighthouse is where I started my day, then Kismet, Saltair, Fair Harbor, Dunewood, and it goes on until Watch Hill. Although that's not the last stop, we can actually go as far as Ho-Hum Beach this year, uh, which is across from Bellport, Long Island, New York. There is the breach at Old Inlet, which is why Fire Island is only accessible from here if you're gonna jog down the beach. Um, until Ho-Hum Beach. But you can keep going to Smith Point, 
the Otis Pike Wilderness Center. There are other areas on the other side, the Fire Island Hotel. And now the history of what makes Kismet special. This is the site of Fire Island's first hotel, the Domini House, built in 1844 by Lighthouse Keeper, which makes sense because you can walk to the lighthouse from here. And there are two lighthouses over there, by the way, because similar to this structure, the original lighthouse structure still stands. Uh, built in 1884, 1844 by Lighthouse Keeper Felix Domini, enlarged to 200 rooms by Benjamin Sire in 1902, burned in 1903. Bricks are the remains of the chimney of the powerhouse monument erected 1989 by friends of Kis Kismet historian James Albert Bliss, 1902 to 1988. And there it is, the remnants of the first ever hotel on Fire Island, which stands right next to the Fire Island Motel. And that is a quick arrival walking tour from the Great South Bay in the beautiful community of Kismet. Till next time, happy summer from I Love New York.